this is the most hyped car of the year, the new British-built Nissan Primera, which has been launched with a £15 million budget behind it. Our very own and our very lovely Ginny Buckley has been driving it. The advertising strapline for the new Nissan Primera is, it's a driver's car, so drive it. Blatant, direct, and a far cry from the bewildering slogan Nissan used in their Almira launch ads. In this case, Nissan desperately wants you to drive the new Primera, because although it looks very similar to the old, virtually every element of the car has been improved, and only by getting in it and taking it for a spin would you realise this. It's bigger, safer, more ergonomic, and with handling that makes it a joy to drive. You're looking at a car which should be taken very seriously indeed. Part of the design brief with this car was that you could drive 1,000 kilometres, get out of it, have a cup of tea and feel as if you'd just been round the corner to the local shop. So it's that sort of driving experience. In terms of the research, we've, we've researched in terms of colour and trim, looking at more modern trends, moving away from many of the, the whites, the greys, the blues, and you see behind me one of our uh, grabber colours, bronze, which we think will also attract people. Internally, we've spent a lot of time looking at the way the fascia's laid out to make it more like a cockpit feel, as if you were flying a 737, something like that. So that'll also appeal to many of the people who are going to drive the car. The research showed us a lot of interesting facts, things that European customers find important. For instance, on the old Primera, we had an internal boot release. On the new Primera, we have a, a release with a button in the tailgate. And we found that was particularly important for, for people with supermarket trolleys as they approach cars. Uh, we, we actually spend an awful lot of time in car parks um, at supermarkets or at uh, railway stations or at uh, airports actually watching what people did and then interviewing people and finding what kind of loads went into the vehicle. The handling clearly is, is the, the most important facet of the car. And there are other interesting facets, for instance the security is quite superb. Um, we have a, a professional thief, uh, is actually an engineer that spent an awful lot of time training on how to steal cars and uh, we believe we've got a, a class leading car from a security angle. The headlamps in particular we did an awful lot of work on. Um, actually we deliver 70% more light than the previous vehicle by using a complex surface reflector. The new Primera has a completely revised chassis with all multi-link suspension, including Nissan's multi-link EAM system at the rear, as found in the QX and Skyline. It has more interior space, particularly in the rear seats, more luggage space and improved luggage access. It's the most important new car that Nissan will launch in Europe before the turn of the century, and it will compete in the highly competitive D segment of the market. As the new Primera starts to roll off the production lines in Sunderland, Nissan UK's manufacturing operation celebrates its 12th birthday. Since Mrs Thatcher opened the plant in 1986, Nissan has built three major models, including the Micra and the original Primera. The Sunderland plant has won many awards, including three successive Queen's Awards for Export Achievement, and it now employs over 4,000 people. Nissan is now Britain's biggest car exporter, building for 36 world markets. Nissan is putting a lot into the marketing of this new Primera to ensure that the mistakes of the original model's launch are not repeated. <laughs>